smells like elk country. And like Jason said, this is like 12 or 13 years we've been coming here. And um, we both have shot some really nice elk here. This year, we are the first ones here, which is going to be pretty cool being the first ones on the on the place. So we're fixing to, um, we got here early enough today that only 20 minutes after one. So we're going to get our stuff out and get it ready and, and go get after them. I got a tag in my pocket and uh, permission. Yeah, we got the wind here. This is the same spot where I shot my bull last year. We pulled up here and stopped. And, uh, Jordan had the wind down and heard one bugle right down in there. So we're gonna basically do the same thing we did last year. We got the wind, so we're gonna go down here, move into some of those trails and just see if we can cut them off going into that field. See, we got about a, probably an hour and 20 minutes of daylight left. Might as well use it. What a day. I mean, you couldn't ask for more action-packed first day. I mean, we uh, we knocked the air twice. <laughs> Almost drew back once. We had him close. I mean, I think we ranged him one time, or Jordan ranged him one time at like 80, but I'm more of a top pin kind of guy. I just, uh, I enjoy that getting them in there where I know I can put it in there but he just didn't commit and we the way that the way that we went in we had the wind in our face and we let some elk kind of get downwind of us and one barked at us and it was the gig was up but it's just first afternoon we got five more days of hunting so laden mark I hope y'all having a good hunt. Mark's in Kansas right now. Got a text from him. We ain't heard nothing from Layden because he's in a tent on top of that mountain right over there where it's been raining all day long. <laughs> I hope you kill a 400, buddy. Good luck. All right. We'll see y'all at daylight. <laughs> trying to figure out what to do we got a one nice bull over here with just a bunch of cows but we really can't get across to them and all of a sudden my phone buzzed and it was Jason Blaylock and he sent me that picture right there so the pressure is on <laughs> nah Congrats, bro. Right on. The, I guess you caught, well, we hunted yesterday afternoon, but this is our first full day, so you got it done quick. Congrats. Well, uh, we're going to keep hunting until probably 10 o'clock, and we'll come help you get him out. Congrats, dude. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that was a hunt. Thank you, babe. Yes, sir. Man, look at all that. <laughs> I kept creeping up because I was like it. 
55. And I could, I knew where he was coming. I could hear him. He was, man, he was bugling. And you could tell he was coming, he's coming. But man, you could hardly move because here's another cow. And here's a spike. And finally, I was like, screw it. They'd get past me and I just move up. Yeah. And I got, I got a good spot, 35. I just knelt down. He popped out. I was full draw when he, he stopped behind some brush, of course. I had to hold for a little while. And then he, yeah. he came out and he stopped him. And, had my 35 on him. Yeah, he did not go far. Praise the Lord. <laughs> This is where we were yesterday afternoon and we had a bunch of elk coming into here. We almost, we got real close on one, but right now we're just trying to wait this storm out. It's moving pretty quick. I was looking at the radar. I don't know if it, um, it's going, let me see where that little blue dot right there. So it's almost, showing almost past us so we'll see i think we gonna wait this little storm out here because i don't think it's that little there's some serious lightning bolts coming out of that cloud over there and jason's scared of lightning wouldn't bother me but jason don't like like no, i don't like it, I don't he, like it at all he's tall i'm short yeah i'm really like, as long as I walked real close to him, it wouldn't hit me. It hit him first. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you tag out first. <laughs> well, the good part is I'm not the tallest scoot Jason's here. He's just a little taller than I am. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only 6'2". Jason's got me. <laughs> I, I'm staying in the truck for sure. <laughs>
five yards. That dead tree had me. Could you see him? I can see him if he stopped the dead tree. Yeah. We better get out of here. There's no one fixing to get us. I had him 25 yards. Just, he was right behind a dead tree. I had one little hole. I probably could have snuck it through, but he couldn't see. Yeah. He smelled uh, anything? Uh, I think the, I think the cow did. He didn't. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Came pretty good. Yeah. Oh. We, if I'd have been set up on the other side of the gen those junipers, yeah. but we didn't know. No, he was over here calling. I thought he was going to follow those cows down. Yeah. And then Showed he goes, quick. Oh. Yeah. I got it. Where's mine? I don't know. <laughs> yards just uh had a old dead tree right there had one little hole i might could have snuck it through but wasn't wasn't worth it and then all of a sudden a big uh thunderhead blew up and now we're soaking wet so i think jason might be just a little bit mad he looks he looks he looks mad you mad jason could, could have at least shot the bull <laughs> for all that no kidding right <laughs> be sure you're shooting good because it'll be hard to track in this ring. <laughs> Alright, well, good part is I could have got the truck right there. Yeah. Could you? Day yeah. one is over. He was driving. We're stuck on we headed to the oh. camp. This is where we were yesterday. Whenever we got on the bull and got really close to shooting him, we stopped way back here and glassed up on the side of the hill right there. And we seen an elk walk across right there. I don't know if it's the same group or not, but we're going to get out and just try to make a move up there and see if we can get on him. Oh, I see the one view one now. All I can see is his butt. I can tell he's just a big body bull. Nice bull. Elks are coming down. If we drop over here, maybe get on this next ridge, we might be able to draw him.
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> Dude. I know you were worried about that one, man. Oh. Oh. Look at the blood. Y'all, yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just, I, I, ain't, I ain't got no excuse. I'm just going to tell y'all what happened. I know y'all saw it. He was coming straight at me. I didn't want to shoot him straight on. He was, whenever he got to where I was going to try to stop him, as soon as I, as soon as I went to stop him, he whirled and I shot and I hit him right in the neck. I mean, I, y'all can beat me up on social media. You can beat me up on TV. You can beat me up on whatever you want to, but that bull right there is going back to Mississippi with me. I didn't make the best shot, but the good Lord was looking out after me. And I'm fixing to go put my hands on him. <laughs> that range, <laughs> that's, that's what a tri pan do. Holy smokes. What's he? One, two, three, four, yeah. five, six. Three, four, five, six by six. six, 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 six. Uh, what I always say, he's a 12 point. <laughs> 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 like I said, y'all, I, I, I don't have any excuses other than whenever I went to stop him, he whirled, and whenever I shot, I hit him. I hit him. What do you think? Where is it in the? That's a carotid, or the jugular, or both. <laughs> or both. both. That's a. <laughs> that is a. Uh, that is a two-inch tripan for you. Now I don't suggest you go shooting elk in the neck. That is not where you are supposed to shoot them. But that's why we shoot good broadheads for making a bad shot. We don't shoot we don't shoot good bad uh, good broadheads for making perfect. a good perfect shot. Exactly. But anyway, y'all, I've been coming out here. This is what is this, Jason? Twelfth year, thirteenth year, I think. Thirteenth and thirteen years we've been coming out here, Jason and I together. I, I missed a, I missed a few years there and uh, Jason came without me, but um, he saved my spot for me. <laughs> but uh, anyway, two, I mean, your bull is like a, I mean, it's mega, too, mega bull. Too good, huh? But too uh, good yeah, unbelievable. Well, uh, Jason, can you do it or you want me to do it? You got it in you? Uh, let me think here. Never, never, ever. Apologize, apologize for your God given right, right to hunt. hunt. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Whew. Hey, guys, for more great content from TGR, like you just saw, Ken Lee, what do they have to do? Hit that like and subscribe button and go turn on those notifications so that you know when our next piece comes. <laughs>